Oh yeah, so this is the third lesson for the 2023 quadratic pack. So it says consider the graph of ax squared plus bx plus c. Uh, so like we said it before, if it was like a 2x squared, you'd expect it to be a u-shaped graph. Whereas if it was a minus 2x squared, you'd expect it to be an n-shaped graph. So this a determines which way up your graph's going. Um, so it's got some uh, it's got some information. So it's talking about solving it to find the roots. You could use completing the square to find the vertex, find the y-intercept. So this is all stuff that we can do. Or we can cheat, we can do that on our calculator as well. Uh, you have to be careful though, because you get decimals if you just use your calculator. Right, let's have a look at this question, and then we'll plot it, I'll show you. So we've got 7 minus 6x minus x squared. So first of all, because that's a minus, and because a is less than 0, I thought that was the wrong way around then, you tell it to start here, then it's going to be an n-shape curve. So the shape's going to be an n-shape. So in terms of the roots, so if I think of it as minus x squared minus 6x plus 7 is equal to 0, uh, let's just find the calculator. And if I put in, so minus 1, minus 6, 7. So that gives us roots of 1 and minus 7. So x equals minus 7, or x equals 1. Put that back on the full screen. Uh, the y-intercept, so when x is 0, the y-intercept is 7. There. Now, on your calc, you can graph it. So if I do an exit a few times, go over, oh, actually, just press menu, it's easier. So if I do menu and graph, then if I just clear out this equation, if I put in minus x using the x v to t squared, minus 6x plus 7, press x here a few times, it might give me a dodgy looking set of axes, but then if I press f3 twice, and then press x twice, it resets the axes. So it's not perfect, but so I can fiddle with the y axis, make it a little bit higher. So just f3 and do y max as 20. Let's see if that gives us a shape. There. So you've got the shape what you need to graph. So I can cheat a little bit and say, all right, so my graph goes like that. Just make sure that the vertex is in the correct quadrant. And it's obvious where my um, axes are. So that's going to be a 7. That's going to be a minus 7. That's going to be a 1. So it says, show clearly the graph where the coordinates is at. So I've done that. So it's one for you to do without the calculator. What would you calculate ideally? So it's a U shaped graph. If you factorize it, it's a minus 8 and 1. You notice know it's at minus 8. My quadrant there, let's see, look at the vertex. It's in the correct quadrant, which is really, really important. Now let's go back to this one for example 2. So example two uh, says it wants the exact coordinates of the vertex. So that's telling you, be careful using the calculator. Now I can do this, I can cheat and do this on my calculator. But if it's a decimal, I need to do it properly. So let's have a look. So if we go back into, oops. So I'm going to change that equation. So delete it out by doing F2, F1. So I've got x squared plus 8x minus 1. Draw a picture. If it looks a bit dodgy, try resetting your axes. Still got nothing there. But I was kind of expecting something. Uh, I think I put something wrong there. Let's have a look. Oh, look. That was just x squared plus 63, I think. That squared there should be an x. Was this spot I've done that wrong? Oops, that's 80x. There. So if I make my y a little bit lower down, so y min this time. Uh, y min. Make that 
about minus 20. There, so I can look the picture. Right, so if I so, so it wants to exact for the vertex, if I do F5 for G solve, and I've got um, min and max, so they'll give you the vertex. So if I do min, which is F3, it tells me it's minus 4, minus 17. So I know the vertex is minus 4, minus 17. And it crosses at minus 1. So I know the graph is like that. So what did we say it was? Minus 4, minus 17. There. But if I didn't, so my shape is a U shape. If it didn't quite work right, then I'd have to do completing the square, which for this is quite simple, isn't it? It's just x plus 4 all squared minus 16 minus 1. There. So x plus 4 all squared minus 17. So you know the vertex will be minus 4 minus 17. And my calculator gives it for me. If I put x is 0 for the y intercept, that could be y is minus 1. But my calculator also gives that for me. If I do g solve, I've got y intercept, which is f4. Yeah. So you can use your calculator for it. That's it. That's done everything, hasn't it? Vertex and where it crosses. So there's another one here. So if you've got a graphical calculator, you can just cheat a little bit. But if your vertex is like a decimal and you want to exact, then you've got to be careful. What are we on? Six minutes? Let's keep going. So an example three and example four. Oh, there's loads of examples here, isn't there? Um, so what I'll do, I'll stop the vid there, I'll do another